near the mouth of the Thai cave, where the wild boar's soccer team was trapped are two small shrines, where locals prayed to the rain god Phra Piran. Perhaps those prayers were answered, as hours after the last team members were rescued, the heavens opened and the monsoonal rains thundered down. It was the heaviest downpour in a week. It no longer mattered, as all 12 boys and the coach were finally safe in hospital, where they will remain in quarantine for about a week. The rescue teams are still packing up after their mammoth task to pull the boys out. Most of the diving gear is still there. There's still a lot of activity at the cave site. The media was allowed a look at the entrance for the first time this morning, before authorities quickly revoked that, right when they realized the area would soon be swamped. They walked us down to the vast entrance to the cave through ankle, deep water. The entrance to the 10 kilometer cave system is gigantic, with stalactites hanging down. From there you start entering further up the mountain to where they all were, 4 kilometers in. A row of tents stands nearby, each belonging to a group of divers, and each filled with dozens of oxygen tanks. A whiteboard shows what is presumably a timetable for divers to enter and leave the cave. You get a sense of how many pumps and pipes went into the mountains, with pipes going everywhere. There are pumps inside and outside, and another one further up, with an estimated 250 million litres of water removed from the cave since the start of rescue efforts. One of the pumps is still furiously chucking away. There are still many police and soldiers around, but the divers, of whom there were more than a 100 at peak time, have all gone, presumably to finally get some rest.